Enterprise. FM 89.9. Good morning. This is Frida Liu is Raise Your Game. Now, many years ago, I saw a video of a young man with no arms and no legs speaking to school children about the message of hope. Fast forward a few years and now he's a global speaker, a husband and a father, and he's still talking about the message of hope. Well, he's right in front of me and his Nick Vojtic, a Serbian descent Australian who's now living in the US. So welcome to Malaysia again, Nick. Thank you, Frida. How are you? I am great. Um, you know, you've been to Malaysia a few times. Now, how has your experience been in the country? Well, it's now, uh, I think, my fourth or fifth time here, and it's just been fantastic. Every time I come here, uh, the experience has been nothing but positive. Um, uh, many crowds, you know, very much receiving the the message of hope and, and self-image and never giving up. And so uh, it's great. I love the food, love the people, love the country. It's great to be back. Salama Bagi. Hmm. You know, you've been talking about this story, this message of hope, and it's your story, and you must have done it thousands of times. Do you ever get tired of doing that? You know, one thing that I continue to remind myself of and have a perspective of is knowing that at least one person either listening on this radio program right now or in an audience uh, needs to hear what is said. And, uh, you know, the, the one thing that actually inspired me to have the courage to start a speaking career was when I was 19 and I was in front of 300 teenagers and uh, trying to just share my you know my story I was very nervous my palms were sweaty my knees were shaking <laughs> and uh, within three minutes half the girls were crying and one girl came up and gave me a hug in front of everyone and she said thank you no one's ever told me that they love me no one's ever told me that I'm beautiful the way that I am and so that that simple message of hope you know is something that I've been wanting to spread around the world and and that's what I'm doing now in the last 11 years so I'm, I'm just excited to see one person's life truly be changed right does it no get very difficult being away from home for such long periods you know my wife my wife and I, we actually planned this year, planning that we would go together uh, as husband and wife. However, we had an unexpected pregnancy and it's a wonderful blessing, a uh, great surprise. Mm. Uh, but we didn't want to you know, cancel any of the travels. We actually organized 24 countries for me to go and, and share my, my, my story of faith mm. uh, and, and victory, um, you know, that, that really honors God and uh, just want people in the world to know to, to never give up and so we did not want to cancel this year being away has been very very difficult uh, it was one of the most difficult things I've had to do and especially this time we actually cried in saying goodbye mm. that was very tough all right you know you talk about faith how do you explain faith faith is believing something you do not see things that you hope for uh, you know, when I was a child, my mum and dad always talked to me about faith and love of God, and I couldn't see the love of God. It's very hard to believe in the love of God when you can't see that love and you feel, you know, that you're alone. You feel that there is no purpose to your life. And um, arms and legs was something that I wished I had because I thought that would directly give me happiness. Uh, I thought arms and legs would give me peace and purpose. But I see many people with arms and legs still looking for happiness, still looking for peace and purpose. So as a child, I tried actually to commit suicide because hmm. I couldn't see a hope. Right. I couldn't see a greater purpose. So I tried to drown myself in 15 centimeters of water in my family bathtub. I never thought I'd get married. I never thought I'd get a job. I never thought I'd you know, be able to hold my kids when they're crying. I just didn't think that my life was worth living. So it's very, very difficult at those times. And if it wasn't for the love of my parents, I wouldn't be here. So I'm thankful for, t for them. And uh, that was the one thing that, that helped me to stop, to, to realize that if I did commit suicide, that the pain that I'd leave behind to my parents, they didn't deserve that pain. So I decided to stay. And I realized we all have a, we all have a choice, either to be angry for what we don't have or be thankful for what we do have. And now I see that if I have no arms and no legs for 90 years, but to bring someone to an eternal salvation or an eternal hope and let everyone find peace without a circumstance changing, then if only one life's changed, then it's all worth it. All right. Up close and personal with Nick Vojic and Raise Your Game. We'll hear more from the man in a moment. BFM 89.9.